Hi guys, Karen here. Uh, this layout is going to be using a load of buttons and these photographs, well, it's the same photograph with just one bit cut out and enlarged of my daughter and her boyfriend standing in front of Hammersmith Bridge and poking their tongues out at me because I'm always pointing a camera at them. Um, so I thought I'd use these buttons. We were challenged to use buttons in, a, um, in the UK Facebook group. Um, so I thought I'd just use them as an embellishment and I picked out the three colours that I thought would go best with the uh, photographs which you can see I've just laid out there and now I'm picking out papers from the six by six six pads from um, little by little by Chamel and also I'll be taking some papers from the Chasing Dream six by six pad as well just to use as um, backing layers for this photograph and I'm trying to find pages that have got the purpley um, and dark red colours that the, the, they're both wearing um, so some of these papers just go with that and then I'm picking out I'm cutting out some of these um, clouds from the Chamel um, paper uh, that, that's also from the Little by Little collection. Um, and I'm just cutting out the clouds that again have the sort of pink or dark red colour in them. I'm just fussy cutting a few of these out. Um, I won't make you watch me doing the whole thing. It's just this first one and then as if by magic they'll all be magically cut out. There we are, and now I'm just choosing some backing papers. That green actually didn't come, come sort of was reflected in the photograph. There's quite a little green hue in the photograph, so I picked that as my first layer. Um, and then the other page papers have all got a bit of purple, dark red, pink in them. Um, so that's what I was using to to back the the photograph with. Um, I'm just making a note of the date there because that's on the back of the photograph, which is about to be hidden. So I made a note of it on a piece of scrap. Um, and now I'm just layering up these papers using, uh, there'll be a doily as well at some point in the background, as usual. So just cutting that, cutting round that one, and then I'm just going to do a bit of layering. This is the last page. It's got some um, some words on it, um, so, it'll, so it's like a page of little word stickers. And the words that are picking out was, uh, today was the best day ever and you are my happy so they're just poking out at the top of that page when it's been stuck on so this is the uh this is the one from the little by little which has got some um, lots of letters on it but quite a lot of purple don't see a lot of purple in the collection so it's nice to get a bit of purple in uh, in this collection um so i'm just sticking those just putting those clouds in place and putting my doily in and then I'm then I'm going to do a few more buttons at the bottom there coming across horizontally so at the moment none of the buttons have been stuck down I'm just laying everything in place so I'm just sort of deciding where I want these buttons so I've got dark red pink and green buttons that I'm using I'm just sticking to those three colors just happened to have bought a load of buttons from um, eBay or was it Amazon might have been Amazon and uh, and then this challenge came up to use buttons so i thought it was a perfect opportunity to uh, to use the new ones i just bought and now i've decided that the photograph or the photograph layers needed a little bit of color in the background a little bit of mixed media not a great deal using a bit of the packaging technique and a little stamp the stamp is um the color is burgundy and i used these little versamark i've got loads of these little versamarks um stamps i'm always getting those mixed up uh, they're ink pads and just using that ink pad just to do a little bit of packaging behind just to to enhance the color that's in the in the uh, photograph and well, now i'm sticking my doily on finally so i can just see there's a little bit and just need a little bit more coming out from below the doily because now i've covered up what was there so just put a little bit more of that that ink behind there Yep, that seems to be enough. And just going to put a little foam on the back of the photograph. There we are. That's stuck on. Now putting the clouds back in place. What's happening now? 
Right, now I'm going to put the, the buttons back and just laying them out and then I'm going to I'm going to stick them down this time. So in a few moments, there we are, they're all stuck down in place now. And the ones at the bottom, I'm going to do those next. Now I'm going to stick the clouds on next. And then I remembered that I've got this uh, Heidi Swap colour shine in amethyst. And I thought, well, that might actually be quite nice in the background because it'll add a little bit of sparkle. In the end, you don't really see very much of it. By the time I've uh, I put a few sprinkles on and then dabbed them dry, they don't really show up a great deal. And I thought I'd scribble these along. It's it's I know it's under the it's going to be under the um, the layers, and I just I'd see how it looked, but it, it does look a bit messy. So I'll just dab those ones with some kitchen towel, and I'm just going to do a little bit. Use a spray it with it on the um, on the plastic. I'm going to move that uh, page the layout in the out of the way. There we go because I knew it would go everywhere and it did. I thought I'd just try a little bit of the packaging packaging technique as well with the Heidi Shine, just around the edges there. And it did look really messy there, but by the time I put the layers back on, you hardly see it. It's just a little bit poking out, and that's all I wanted really, a little bit of colour poking out. So it didn't look so the white wasn't so quite so stark behind it. So then I'm going to stick on the rest of the um, the clouds that I've cut out. Some have been cut out of the the larger sheet of the little by you, little by little page, and some have come out of that um, six by six pad little tiny ones that little tiny one will get replaced later on it's much it does look a bit daft there so I do replace it with the larger version later on so now I'm sticking my photograph layers down and I'm going to stick those buttons in place at the bottom of the page just trying to pick out the ones I want There we are, and uh, you can see it's a little bit later in the day by the time I'm finishing this off, and the, and the light has gone a bit dark, so sorry about that. The lights change quite a lot. Um, you don't realise when you're doing it how the sun is going down, because I, I do my scrapbooking right under a window, and so the natural light does take have an effect. Um, just got a little sticker there that I'm sticking underneath. To come picked out a few bits and pieces from my stash, some, I think some stickers and puffy stickers that had been laying around for a while. This is from a Dear Lizzie collection, can't remember which one, it's just some little puffy flowers and tucking under that corner. I do later on turn that the other way up, though I don't know that that's actually um, evident on the video, but the, by the end of the video those flowers will be the other way up so that the, the red ones are not tucked underneath, they're actually showing a bit more clearly. Looking through this sheet of the from the Cute Girl collection, just picked out some little hexagons in the colours that I'm using. And now you see there's the bigger the bigger cloud that I've now cut out and I'm going to stick stick in there. One tucked under the layers and one in the middle. So now what's happening? Oh, there's a little bit of uh, washi tape there, which is birds sitting on a wire. I thought that kind of went quite well with the picture. Um, and I found these little... I think they're called potty people, these little little uh, wooden wood veneer people. There's a girl and a boy, and I've stood them so they, they look like they're holding hands, which is what Hannah and George are doing in the photograph. I thought they were quite cute. I haven't used them for ages. I almost forgot I had them. And I just thought, oh, they would be quite cute. Just, just stood there where the two photographs join. And just sticking those on. There we are, that's stuck them. And nope, trying that button behind the corner. No, I don't need any more buttons on the page. I think I'm quite done with buttons. This is a these are just little stickers, a little puffy stickers, and that was a circle. I've had that ages, years, that sheet, and I just found one that's sort of a purpley colour, so I thought I'd stick that on there. It worked quite well. And now I'm doing the title. And these letters are I think from Pink Paisley. Could be wrong, I usually am. I can never remember the name of companies. 
um, but they're these really big loopy letters um, and I'm just doing the title of so cheeky because they're, as I said earlier they're both poking their tongues at, out at me so it seemed the title just seemed to be appropriate and I'm just picking out the last two letters for puts and sitting them in between the two long that the H and the K there so cheeky they are a cheeky pair <laughs> and now I've got no, some more water veneers just found some little arrows I'm just going to stick that on pointing to the two little potty people and I think now I'm going to do my little bit of journaling just saying what uh, what we were doing it was actually um, on my birthday or the day before my birthday we were going for an afternoon tea and so we're having a nice walk along the river they live near quite quite nearby um, so I've just made a note of the date with my date stamp now I'm just adding a little exclamation mark there after at the end of the title it just seemed to need something to finish it off and now I found one of these um, roller roller stamps with with the phrases on so I've picked out a couple of phrases um, I'm stamping on adorable in a couple of places and little moments also at the top I think that's what I'm doing now yes little moments just to finish that off that may be the end the last thing so oh no I always I always forget that I've done this I'm just doing a, a doodly border just around the edge just to finish it off there we are just doing my just a sort of double not a not a too straight just a bit wiggly i think there's a bit of cloud sticking out so i'm just trimming that off so that's it thank you very much for joining me again please subscribe and give, and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you again soon thank you very much bye